Oh, what's up, Kazaya? What trainings do you run on Juliet? Um, I think there's a pretty standard one in high elo now. It's uh, I think it's like perfect form, tempo, swing, built different. I see everyone in high elo running that one now. Oh, Leon got it. I didn't even know Leon got it. I mean, he didn't get it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Hey, great, my favorite. Hey, you want to hold on to this explodium for just a second? Did I play Juliet with you? I don't even remember playing Juliet last night. Oh. I appreciate it. Time uh, same for your Asher, man. Your Asher is insane. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, ah, gotcha, gotcha. One. Localized combat now beginning. Hold up, what is my um build here? Two. Oh, it's a turret build, I'm down. I like turrets. Right, let me just chop off some random stuff here and go help other people. Let me save this here. Okay. Oh, and someone said mask doesn't prevent you from getting it. I'm not wearing like a normal medical mask. You think I'm risking going out there with a normal? I'm going with the N95 baby super protection mask. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? No need to be Is that a murky? Oh man. Go on in a hazmat suit, people giggly. Yeah, I mean, it's about as much protection as you can afford, right? It's whatever. It's, it's already been like three years since COVID or whatever. At this point, it's like, that's about as good as it's going to get. It's either that or never go outside ever for the rest of my life, which is... Uh, also possible, but <laughs> I'm out. Slightly, slightly sus. No point in that, I think. Am I getting murky ganked? What is happening, dude? Bro, chill. You have like 2 HP, bro. 2, 1, 1. 2, 1, 1. 1, 3, 1. 1, 1, 1, 3, 1. What the heck is this? Oh, it's an attack speed gas low build. Okay. I got my glow, but he took two turret shots. Not worth. Yeah, I do believe COVID is like um just kind of like a bad code now. But like I said, for a streamer, it's like a really bad code because if you get the cough variation, not being able to talk for two plus weeks, up to a month, for a streamer is quite. That's like a bigger deal for a streamer than you know just uh. Your average person. Can you nerds chill? What's up with all these guys, man? I mean, Gaslow is not the best hero at stalling, but if it's just two melees, I'm pretty sure I could stall for a very long time.
mad, bro? You mad? Why are you so mad? Why are you so? Why you have to be mad? Why are you mad, brother? Every every turret you kill, I make two more. Oh shit! I'm running out. <laughs> oh my god, these poor silvers, dude. I will tell you what, though, they are dedicated. I respect the dedication that's happening here. <laughs> it ain't happening. But they, 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 they were going all the way no matter what. That's dedication. I appreciate your dedication, buddy. Collection complete. Am I planning on doing Omega Strikers with fans? Your rank has to at least be higher than mine if I'm playing with you. Because uh, I think I'm very underrated right now because I'm playing with Jin. We're playing with the, who, who started learning the game really late. So your rank has to at least be higher than mine. And then maybe. If it's not higher than mine, then not at the moment. Because I'm trying to climb. I'm not really trying to climb, but you know, I'm still trying. I'm, I'm not trying to fall. I'm not hardcore trying to climb, but I'm not trying to fall either. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you got Shades Taco. Those look nice. Those look nice. Surprise! What the hell? The four man murky march gank. Mega monkers. What is happening? Our Rhaegar's taking their camp though. Don't worry. Macro gag! This, Triple kill. This, oddly enough, this seems like a pretty good game for auto attack Gazlo. We're kind of doing work. Maybe I'll go do a camp. Killing spree. Do I still play RBS? Not for a while, no. I haven't played it for a while. Problem with the RBS is like the NA player. I, I think it's a good game, but there's like two problems. Like, and they're directly related to each other. Like, one. The player base is um, really low for NA. Like the NA player base is just really low, especially for when you get higher ranked. Like when when I got to like gold, my queues were like 10 minutes, like in gold. Sometimes longer, which is kind of you know, it's just that's just that's just too long. And that's because oh my god, dude, what the? They really want me dead. Oh my, Rhaegar, God! That's what I'm talking about, Rhaegar. Okay, all part of the plan. Nice heals. I'll go. I'll go follow him because he's got good heals. What was I saying? Oh yeah. So I I think it has a lower player base because it's too complex. It's too complicated. Like, it was probably designed for the um, Korean audience or Eastern audience, like Asians. It's like an Asian game. Asians love hard stuff, dude. I, I mean, I'm Asian, so I like, I, I understand. I love that game too, because, you know, high skill cap. But then, um, the, the critical flaw is I don't think Western players in general love high, high, really hard stuff. Well, it's not, it's not even high skill cap, it's high skill floor. The problem with it was high skill floor. You have to be pretty, it's like Dota, you, you have to be pretty damn good at the game to even play the game. If you're not good at the game, you can't even play the game. Like literally, you can't even play, like you just get shut out. So th I think that's why it has such a low player base in the West, because people can't be bothered to like play a hundred games to learn everything before they can actually start playing the game. So 
So that's the biggest problem with the RBS. It has a high skill cap, but it also has a high skill floor, and that, mean, <laughs> that means no one in the West wants to play it. So they have no players in the West. You played it and it was super sweaty? Yeah, exactly. That is, um, that is w one thing I think you can really see from Omega Strikers too. At least, it's better in Omega Strikers. I would say Omega Strikers is, you know, also high skill cap. But it's a low skill floor, meaning anyone can play it. You don't you don't have to spend uh, 10 or 50 or 100 hours playing the game before you can actually play the game. At least not right now. We'll see in like two months. In two months, when everyone knows how to play, then it might be a different experience. But right now, you know, it's pretty easy to start playing. You don't have to spend 50 hours before you can actually even realistically play a game without getting slaughtered. Uh -oh. oh, nice. I got my uh, attack uh, giant killer, baby. And move speed, it's on. You thought the problem was all the knowledge needed and tedious crafting stuff, which yeah, you're right, sounds like Dota. Yes, that is the problem. I'm just saying it in a different way. So to learn all of the crafting and looting knowledge, you have to play the game for at least 10 to 50 hours, right? So yes, you're right. That is exactly what I'm saying. I'm just stating it differently. The high skill floor, the 10 to 50 hours before you can play the game, that is that is learning the looting and crafting system in the ERBS. Um, that is what I'm talking about. Precise. Uh oh. I have hella turrets though. Turrets, save me! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I live! Pago. When in doubt, sometimes you just gotta walk back and forth randomly. I think I sidestepped a few uh, things there. Easy sidesteppies. There's a big learning curve. Yeah, exactly. So that's the problem with Dota and the RBS, right? Dota, the learning curve is massive, you know. Like, if I don't know if you watch Grubby, but it's like, you know, Dota, you gotta, you gotta learn all the items. You gotta learn what your hero build is. You gotta learn where your hero goes. You gotta, what, what are camps? What are pulls? What are wards? What are D wards? Like, you don't, you can't even play the game if you don't know most of this stuff. And and you're playing against someone that's already learned it. Like, you literally just can't even play the game, right? And ERBS, you, you gotta like, what what is the loot? How do you craft it? Which item combinations make which items? Where do these items drop? What happens if you don't get an item? Where else can you go to get the item? You know, it's like, you have to know all of this before you can play the game. But for Omega Strikers, it's like, hit ball in goal. All right, you're good. That's all you need to know to start the game. You Go for it. So that's the difference between a low... You know, it's like a low barrier of entry versus a high barrier of entry. Low skill floor, high skill floor. That's the difference, and it's a very big one. Dota learning curve 400 hours. Oh, I believe it. I I was actually also a victim of uh, the Dota learning curve too. I didn't like Dota the first time I played it. Actually, I remember the very first time I played Dota, I was like, "Eh, there's no Footman Frenzy games available on my <laughs> Warcraft launcher." I am so dead, by the way. 
maybe I'll check out this Dota game that's always on there and see what it's like, right? I th and I think I like picked Bloodseeker. You know, I probably like didn't buy an item because I was like, what the hell are these items? Like, every recipe I click is too expensive for me to buy. And I think I like ran through the jungle for five minutes. So I was like, where am I supposed to go? What the hell is happening? And then I like wandered into a lane. And I was like level two or one. And then the lane guy was like level seven, and he just killed me in one shot. I was like, and then I was like, this game fucking. I mean, excuse my language, but this game effing blows. It's okay. I don't think there's any kids here, anyways. And then I quit. I didn't play it for another two years. I don't know why I liked it the second time I played it, though. I must have learned something before I played it. Second time I played it, I got more into it. But the first time, I just I hated it because I had no knowledge of anything. Well, my bad, chat. Okay, my bad, my bad. Listen, chat. Blame Perry. I don't know. It's it's Perry's fault somehow. We can we can we can we can make it Perry's fault. Surely. When in doubt, blame Perry. I should probably go kill that boss, huh? Pretty healthy. Or the murky. Yeah, it's probably boss. I do, Rolls Royce. I do. I'm afraid to inform you. That is true. You had 180 hours in Dota. You could use one hero. And you didn't even use consumables yet? Yeah, pretty much. The learning curve in Dota is pretty insane. I've been banned. Feels bad, man. <laughs> Call me Ghetto Cassia, baby. This level 20 gives me a 30 armor when I auto attack. Ghetto Cassia online. Vital signs negative. Warhead collection confirmed. All warheads have been claimed. I guess the other good part of Omega Strikers is I thought people have given up on making anything MOBA like, you know. There hasn't been like anything new MOBA like, I feel like, in so long. So the other part about it is just it's just kinda cool to see someone make at least attempting to make a new game with MOBA elements. You know, everything in the last 70 years feels like it's just been Battle Royale or Miscellaneous. Oh yeah, Pokemon Unite was the most recent one. That's true, that's true. That one was good too. That was good too. That was a feels good too. GG. Meta build, 